It's about to go down. Period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. It's going to throw back to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. 40 minutes into the books. Ray, what do you make of the night so far? Montreal's got a lead in this game, which is probably a last shot win sort of thing. Man, it's been out of control for two periods. I love it. Here they come on the attack. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Boston's got it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Pasternak. Oh, he'll feel that one. The Canadians played along the wing. Here's a pass in front, and that's intercepted. Boston's across the blue line. And a good solid hit on that play. The Canadians have it now. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Couldn't complete the pass. Stays with it. Centering feed. Takes the blast. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Great poke check on the reach. Pushes it across to chase on. The Bruins cross the line and gain the zone. Blocked in front. Look out! Denies him! Oh, and another big stop! Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Here they come on the rush. Denies him on the play. Montreal's got it in their own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Jake's got it along the wing. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Great defensive effort with the stick. And the save. Oh, and another quick stop. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Tries to get the puck to Foligno. The Bruins will play it in their own end. And now he angles it across to Frederick. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Long lead pass in the neutral zone. Sorry, James. That sounded big. I have to tell you, that was a large hit. And that pass goes awry. Attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay at ringside. Marshawn's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Kick stuck by Dell. It's a really good save. In tight, he shuts down the area where the puck can go by getting out onto the puck, and there's nowhere for the shooter to put it. Moves it to Jake. Jake's really hearing empty net. Oh, and everyone breathes a sigh of relief on one bench anyway. Yeah, the one bench is pretty relieved right now. I mean, even their coaches looked at each other and just exhaled a little bit. The Canadians make their way back to center ice, probably breathing a little easier here now, Ray. Pretty much puts this to bed. The empty netter gives them a little bit more of a comfortable lead. Quick feed to Caulfield. Stop by the goaltender. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Fires it on net. Textbook stop by Dell. Net is empty. The extra attacker is now out on the ice. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. The Bruins came close, but not close enough, Ray. Maybe that's the step they need to, to get themselves out of this mess. While the losing streak continues, they played well tonight. Maybe their best game in the line.